Praise be Jesus and Mary. In St. Matthew's genealogy, we see one uh, feature that is of particular interest, and that is the fact that St. Matthew is careful to point out that it is of Mary that Jesus is born, whereas the whole genealogy attributes the generation to the Father, each one generating his son, and the son in turn generating his own son. When it comes to Jesus, he is born of Mary, and Joseph is simply her husband. So this reminds us of the, the way in which our Lord was conceived, which was virginal by the power of the Holy Spirit. He does not have a biological father. And this then leads us to reflect on the fact that Our Lady herself, the mother of our Lord, uh, was, was very well aware of the uniqueness of, of this event, of the incarnation of the Son of God and of, and of the special nature of her maternity. In fact, uh, sometimes we hear around this time of year, around Advent and maybe around the Feast of the Annunciation, that Our Lady really would not have been aware of what she was getting into at the moment of, of the Incarnation, which is, of course, nonsense, because our Lord does not act that way with human beings. He does not uh, trick them or use their ignorance to get them to do what He wants. When uh, we'll hear this uh, in just a few days, when, when the Annunciation occurs, our Lord sends the Archangel Gabriel to solicit Our Lady's consent to give her the knowledge of what's about to happen, God's will for her, and to solicit her consent, her informed consent to this great mystery. So Our Lady was very well aware of who she was called to be, who her son was, and she freely consented to that, to be the virginal mother of Jesus, called the Christ, the Messiah. Of course, all the details would Our Lady have known that uh, her son would have lived specifically 33 years. That's not necessary. It's a detail. Would Our Lady have known that he would have chosen fishermen to be his apostles? Would she have known that it was in Cana of Galilee that he would have worked the first of his miracles and begun his ministry? We're not saying that she knew all those details. We are saying that she definitely knew who she was, the mother of the Messiah, and who her son was, the Messiah, a suffering servant, the one foretold by Isaiah, born of a virgin, and she was the one chosen by God to be that virginal mother. So for us, the application of this is that uh, the mystery of the incarnation and of our Lord's becoming man and, and of his redemptive mystery uh, does us good insofar as we are aware of it and we freely consent to it. So God too wants us to have a, a knowledge of the mystery of which we are a part, the mystery of the incarnation and of the redemption, the mystery of our divinization as the fathers of the church said it. God wants us to be informed, to be aware of what he does to us, of the change that comes about with his incarnation. He wants us to know it, to consent to it, to make it a part of our lives so as to be transformed by it in turn. God wants us to freely collaborate. God wants us to freely consent. God wants us to be freely his children, his sons and daughters, and sharers in his divinity, just as he became a sharer in our humanity. Let's imitate Our Lady in this. Let's be very well aware of the mystery of which we are a part. Let's realize its grandeur, its beauty, and let's consent to it freely. Praised be Jesus and Mary.